Hi, my name is Andy G. Jones, and I'm here to show you the two prototypes of the Free the Tone Overdrive Land Pedal. Um, they're two they're similar, but they've got a different voicing, and I guess the idea is that they're letting us uh, demo this these pedals just to show off the subtle difference of voicings. So I guess before I play anything else, I should play the clean sound of this amp got behind me, which is a Syria tone, if I see you pronounce it joyful music which is kind of a you know obviously meant to be like a john mayer sort of sound so that's the amp um, um, and if you try that clean channel of the standard clean side of the HS without with makes it very dynamic very very dynamic so uh, they both these pedals are really dynamic so you'll see with the drive sounds you can if you dig in you, you can really get tons of drive out of it and if you ease off on the pick attack, you can get it pretty clean in with a pretty, a pretty driven setting. So to go through the controls, the first three, which are level, tone and gain, are for the clean channel, the left hand side with a white button. And the push and the drive controls are for the drive channel. And it can get pretty hairy if you crank the push and the drive. It's, it's, I don't think you'd want a lot more drive than that really but it pushes the front end of the amp really hard so you've got to treat it with respect basically um yeah so if i i am set the the uh gain too high on this at the moment let me just turn that down a little bit turn that down uh, sort of comparable um the other buttons you've got on here very dumbbell features you've got um You've got a, a drive level for the drive channel, obviously. You've got a high cut, you've got a bypass, which bypasses the tone stack. And you've got a rock and jazz setting, which is a very dumbbell feature. One thing I'd say about it is I think the jazz setting on this is a lot more pleasing than some dumbbell type derivative amps and pedals that I've tried. The jazz sound is really quite pleasing. So let's have a little squint at that for just a second. <laughs> Back to the rock setting. jazz setting it's uh, pretty clean if you set the gain not too high very usable same on the other one uh, as the rock setting it's jazz setting again very pleasing okay so let's use the drive channel on the standard let's see let me just check my interface the kind of gain we're getting that was position one as i call it the neck uh, and so that's with both the push and the drive down as soon as you start pushing, drive up. So plenty of drive. So now I'm in the 
back pick up. <laughs> So if I push that up a bit more don't need a lot more than that but watch this Let's see how high our gain is going uh, crushing the uh, preamp here so I mean that's pretty slamming and that's not even full out full on um, I'm pushing my preamp in the interface so let's leave it at that with that pedal jump to the other side and <laughs> So that's like a bluesy kind of tone neck pickup. So a great, great little blues sound. As soon as you start cranking the drive, I've got a position four. not even dimed uh, I'm pushing my luck here with the recording level so I, I just turned the preamp gain down uh, let's just try some of those sort of classic rock kind of grooves <laughs> that that's pretty I, I mean that's not even that's not even turning the push and the drive right the way up as you can see there so let's switch to the other one <laughs> bit more drive on that it's comparable to the other one oh, um, a bit more push <laughs>
another one. So there's a little bit of an overview for you of what these pedals do. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, examples after this. Hope it helps. Uh, they're great pedals, super dynamic. Just show you one thing with this. Thank you. Bye.